Early one morning, the children and students of the Father Ray Foundation gathered together for a photograph. This was the start of the annual celebrations to remember the life and work of Father Ray Brennan. Today, ขอเสียงปรบมือด้วยค่ะเปิดตัวอย่างเป็นทางการแล้วนะคะ Father Ray Foundation would like to thank all its sponsors for ensuring the success of the Father Ray Day 2010. Well, good afternoon, everybody. I'm Sonia Kuli. It's a pleasure for me to be here and be associated and um, help out as much as I can. At Central Festival Beach Patia, the Father Ray Foundation presented an afternoon of fun activities. Mayor of Patia, Itapol Kunplum, was on a hand to officially open the day's event and he also shared his memories of Father Ray and spoke of the good work the Father Ray Foundation was doing in Patia. Children from the Father Ray Children's Home, the Children's Village, the Father Ray Daycare Centre and the Father Ray Drop-In Centre performed a selection of modern and traditional dances whilst the students from the Patia School for the Blind entertained the audience with their musical skills. Also, the Beat Boys Break Dancers performed a routine that left everyone speechless. I like to take time a little while to explain to you that all of these children you have seen from the four projects only out of 12 projects. Several local business leaders, support groups and organizations were invited to share their memories of Father Ray and they were presented with a certificate for their continuing support of the work.
On the evening of the 16th of August, the 7th anniversary of Father Ray's death, a remembrance service was held at St Nicholas Catholic Church on Suckenvit Road. More than 1,000 people, including his children and students, past and present, crowded into the church to listen to a special Mass. Following this, a candlelight ceremony paraded to the final resting place of Father Ray. Students in wheelchairs, blind children with white sticks, and young children who were not even born when Father Ray was alive, all stopped at his grave and gave thanks to a man whose devotion to the underprivileged of Thailand changed the lives of many.